Hello, what's up? Ali here and welcome back to our corner. And on this video, we'll show you how to jailbreak any PS Vita the easiest way. Even if you are someone who has totally no experience with this kinds of stuff, you will be able to jailbreak your PS Vita or install Henkaku in less than 10 minutes. First, let us connect our PS Vita to the Wi-Fi and go to the browser. Then enter this address and just hit on unlock my Vita. Then here on this part, click on install Henkaku, then install Vita Deploy. Then you can go ahead and exit. Then on the settings, go to Henkaku settings and enable unsafe homebrew. Next, we have to go to the Vita Deploy. From here, if your PS Vita is above 3.65, we have to downgrade it to 3.65 or 3.60 to be able to install permanent jailbreak. So if you are on 3.60 or 3.65, you don't have to go through this process. But let me go ahead and show you how we can downgrade. From here, click on Install Different OS. Choose 3.65. Wait for it to download all of the files. And from here, we have to check that the factory firmware must be lower than the target firmware because we can't downgrade our PS Vita lower than its factory firmware. Now, if we verify that the factory firmware is lower than the target firmware, we can go ahead and press X to downgrade. Your Vita will restart after the downgrade. You may go ahead and go to the settings to verify the firmware. Then let us go back to Vita Deploy and finish installing the rest of the applications. From here, go to the App Downloader and check the applications that you want to download. You may go ahead and check other applications, but basically these are the only applications that we need. Vita Shell, Adrenaline, and PKGI. Unfortunately for Enzo, the version available here is only for 3.60. So if you downgrade it to 3.65, we have to get Enzo somewhere else. Let us proceed with this application first, so just click on Download Selected Apps to start the download. Now to complete the jailbreak on our PS Vita, we have to download two other applications, the Enzo for 3.65 and the Auto Plugin. You can find the links on our description, so just open the link and click on this part to download. Now let us go ahead and connect our Vita to our PC and transfer our files. Then on the Vita, Go to the virus shell, then connect your USB data cable to your Vita, then press select. Then go to your PC. If this is the first time that we are going to access our PS Vita from our PC, we have to enable hidden files first. So go to the upper tab of the window, click on the view, then option, change folder and search options, click on view, then check show hidden files, then uncheck hide protected operating system files. After that, you will be able to see and access all of the folders in your Vita. Now let us go ahead and transfer the rest of the files that we need. Just go ahead and drag and drop them on the root of your PS Vita. Then on the Vita, we can go ahead and install our downloaded files. Then let us go back to the main menu and install the rest of our files. Let us start with the Adrenaline. This is our PS1 and PSP emulator. After the installation, it will boot the PSP cross-media board and you will be able to play PSP and PS1 games using this application. Then the Enzo. This will give us permanent jailbreak so that we don't have to reinstall the Henkaku every time we turn off our PS Vita. Then our Auto Plugin. This is our access to different plugins or extra features for our PS Vita. But I strongly recommend not to use this casually. If you install excessive plugins, it may cause errors on your Vita. For now, let us go ahead and simply install non-PDRM. After it restart, congratulations, we have basically completed jailbreaking our PS Vita. But this is just the start for your PS Vita. Installing Henkaku is just the window for you to enjoy your PS Vita. You can install more emulators, use SD to Vita, and play some ports. But for me, I'd rather keep it simple 
since I only use my PS Vita to play some classic and PS1 games. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.